Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News Tax Time Guide. IRS provides easy access to tax refund status with Where's My Refund Tool. No need to call the Tax Time Guide. You've got to have the Tax Time Guide. I mean, it's kind of like having one of those maps of like the Disneyland theme park. You, you have to have it so that you can fully enjoy the experience. Yeah, look, Frank, just drink the shake, okay? You have to have it. He doesn't want it. Somebody drink. And I love this end part here. No need to call. I mean, clearly, clearly the IRS doesn't want us to call them. And it's like, why not, IRS? Hey, call us if you need anything. Don't call us. Why not? What did you do with all that inflation reduction money? Take it easy, honey. I'm going to be all right. Don't be hysterical. Stop crying. Just be glad I'm alive. What did you do with the money? What did you do with it? I thought you were going to hire telephone people so we could call you. The money? What kind of a wife are you? Three, three tough guys jumped me and... Barney said there were two. Two? Uh, well, uh, one of them was a midget. Uh, Barney couldn't see him. But whatever. Any case. You two midget brains better think of something better before I get back. IR 2023-46, March 15, 2023, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service reminds taxpayers that the Where's My Refund tool on IRS.gov is the most convenient way to check the status of 2022, 2021, and 2020 tax refunds. IRS2Go, there's a link to that here. It's the mobile app. So that's the cool way to do it. You have it on your phone, you know offers another way for users to check their refund status. Information for the most current tax year filed is generally available tw within 24 hours after the IRS acknowledges receipt of a taxpayer's e-file return. If they file a paper return, taxpayers should allow four weeks before checking the status. To use Where's My Refund, there's a link to that here, taxpayers must enter their social security number or individual taxpayer identification number, filing status, and the exact whole dollar amount of their expected refund from the original tax return for the years they're checking. The IRS updates the tool once a day, usually overnight, so there's no need to check more often. So if you're checking, the, if you're checking for your refund every hour or something, you have a tick, you have a problem, you need to stop. You can do it maybe twice, maybe twice a day, more than that, and you need to check yourself. So this provides uh, provides individuals, prevents the individuals from having to contact the IRS for updates unless the tool requests them to call. So once again, the IRS doing their best to not have to talk to anybody on the phone, even though they got all that money from the Inflation Reduction Act for that they were going to use to hire people, which didn't have anything to do with reducing inflation. But whatever, we know how that goes. I won't get into that again. It's kind of a, kind of an issue for me. But whatever, where's my refund displays progress through three phases. You got number one, return received. Number two, refund approved. Number three, refund uh, sent. Taxpayers will get personalized information based on the status of their tax return. The tool will provide an actual refund date once the IRS processes the return and approves the refund. The fastest way to get a refund is by filing electronically and using direct deposit. There's a link to that here. Taxpayers who don't have a bank account can find out how to open a bank account at FDIC Insured Bank. There's a link to that here or the National Credit Union Locator Tool. There's a link to that here. What to expect. Even though most refunds are issued in less than 21 days, that's kind of like an average. I wouldn't really depend on that for like for sure meaning don't spend a bunch of money hoping the refund's going to come within 20 fun, 21 days unless you like have to. So taxpayers file electronically and choose direct deposit. So that only counts to that 21 days if you file electronically and use the direct deposit, some refunds might take longer. Oh, there's the disclaimer. You knew it was coming. Many different factors can affect the timing of a refund, such as if the return has errors, uh, is incomplete, or affected by identity theft or fraud. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they somehow weaseled in equity into that as well, so that, you know, there's equity factors in terms of who's going to get their refund. On the fastest terms. How, where do you stand on the social equity ladder here? That's how the refunds are going to be issued. That's how things are done around here. Any case, other causes for delays. 
The return may require additional review. The return needs a correction to the earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit. The time between the IRS issuing the refund and the bank posting it to an account may vary since many banks do not process payments on weekends or holidays. The IRS will contact taxpayers by mail or if more information is needed to process a return. IRS phone and walk-in representatives can only research the status of a refund if 21 days or more have passed since it was filed electronically, six weeks or more have passed since the return was mailed, where's my refund tells the taxpayer to contact the IRS. If a taxpayer refund isn't what it is expected, uh, it may be due to changes the IRS made to the return. Those jerks changed my return is what you might th what you might think. These changes could include corrections to the child tax credit or earned income tax credit amounts or an offset from all or part of the refund amount to pay past due taxes. So if you owe past due taxes, they kind of hold on to your refund and they use it to pay <laughs> to pay the tax due da taxes as you might expect that they would do. Or debts, possibly. They might pay your debts for you. They're doing you a favor. They're doing you a favor. They're paying your debts with your refund. I know you were expecting it in 21 days to pay the rent, but, you know, they paid they they paid whatever debt they felt was important at the time. More information about reduced refunds is available at IRS.gov. There's a link to that here. Filing a tax return. Taxpayers should make IRS.gov their first stop to get information on how to file. There is information on IRS free file. There's a link to that here. IRS online account. There's a link to that here. Answers to questions and tips on filing a return. You got links to all that cool stuff. As a reminder, the deadline for most taxpayers to file a return, uh, pay any tax due or request an extension to file is Tuesday, April 18th. Uh, this news release is part of a series called the Tax Time Guide, just like that Disneyland map, giving you all the different locations within the tax world of atmosphere. Fear. So you, you want to make sure you get on all those rides. They're really exciting. Any case, a resource designed to help taxpayers file an accurate tax return. Additional help is available on Publication 17, your federal income tax for individuals. More resources below. We've got About Where's My Refund, Online Accounts, FAQs, Tax Season Refund FAQs, Direct Deposit, Choosing a Tax Professional, IRS Free File, Free Tax Return Preparation for Qualified Taxpayers. Links to all that stuff here. And we, we're, we're giving that to you. We're providing it right here. There'll be a link to this in the description. So if you, you should give us like, I guess, a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe and like ring the bell icon and make sure the notifications are turned on because this is stuff you, that you need to know.